Hi, my name is Saj Chaudhuri. I'm from Paradiso Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about open badges in Moodle. I'm actually going to show you a live demonstration of how badges are configured, used, and distributed in Moodle 2.5. I will also talk about some of the organizations which are currently using the badges. So if I log into Moodle as an administrator, I can, here is the Moodle, I'm logged in as admin user. If I go to the administration section, you will see a new item called badges. This is new in Moodle 2.5. If I click on badge settings, I can set all different settings related to badges such as the issuer name, the security key, so on and so forth. Let's try to add a new badge. So as an admin, you can add new badges to the system. You need to put a name, let's say forum contributor, description. You need to be careful what description and things like that you put in here because when the badge gets published all of this information is visible to the whole public. I'm going to choose an image from my file system. Search for forum. Choose an image. Upload. So this is going to be the image for your badge. The name, you can set the badge expiry date, never or fixed date just like a year from now or what have you. So let's set a year from now, 9 August 2014. I click on create badge. So there is a badge already exists with this name. So I'm going to do change a little bit of the name called Forum Contributor Advanced. And let's try to create again. So this will create the badge. And then you can set different criterias, like what would it take to win this badge. So there's many different criteria, such as manual issue by a role, such as a teacher or a manager or an admin can give a badge to somebody after evaluating their performance, their contribution to the forums, or completion of a particular course. So this has to be done manually. Second criteria is completing a set of courses. So this is an automatic criteria. Once you complete certain curriculum, let's say HTML5, you take the basic course, the advanced course, and you take a final exam. That will be set of courses. You took an HTML5, and at the end of this curriculum, this set of courses, you would be allocated a batch automatically. And third thing is, completing certain parameters of the profile. So this is the, really the power of badges where you're setting the criteria for winning this particular badge. When somebody gets a badge, they get an automated message from Moodle. And here you can configure the template for the message. So in this case, there is a subject, congratulations, you have just earned a badge. and there are certain dynamic parameters such as badge name, so on and so forth. So you can customize this email template when you send out a badge. Let's look at the existing badges. So if you click on manage badges, you can see what are all the existing badges. You can enable them. You can also see how many recipients have received these badges. So HTML5 expert badge have been allocated to one of the users and it's it's active, it's available for the users and the criteria for HTML5 is that it's awarded manually by the manager. So let's look at from the point of view of a student. So this particular student such he has earned the HTML5 badge which was allocated by his manager so if I go in my profile, I click on my badges, I can see all the badges which have been allocated to me. In this case, I only have one badge, which is the HTML5 badge. I click on it, 
and it will show me all the metadata associated with this batch. So the criteria, the description, the expiry date, so on and so forth. Moodle does have an integration with Mozilla Backpack and I can add this by click of a button, I can actually add this batch to my backpack. So let's look at how the backpack looks like. So if I go to my Mozilla account, this is my Mozilla account, I click on my badges and I can see all different badges I have. So if I click on collection, uh, it asks me to log in, so I log in. So once I'm in Mozilla, I click on the collections. So collections are public sets of badges. So this particular badge which was awarded to me by my manager from Moodle, it does have all the information, the issuer's name, the URL of the issuer, in this case baradisosolutions.com, the criteria, the issue date, the expiry date, so on and so forth. The real magic is if I click on this particular badge and I can actually use the social media to, to distribute this badge. So I go to the collection and I click on this button called share and you can see all different options I have to share this badge and that's how I let the whole world know that I am an expert or I'm qualified or I'm a certified in XYZ skills. So from the student's point of view, they can brag about their skills on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, their resume, their blog, what have you. From the organization point of view, by student talking about this on social media, more and more potential students know about your organization, your learning institute, so on and so forth, so you can really have a viral marketing effect on your organization. So in this case, if I click on share, I can tweet it, I can send it to Google+, Plus, I can send it to my Facebook. So let's look at how it looks on my Google Plus profile. So here's a badge I posted, and imagine all my friends looking at this badge, clicking on it, and by clicking on it, they can take me to the organization which issued the badge, and you can get potentially more student, and also a potential employer or a potential hiring manager can look at this and possibly contact me about my HTML5 skills or give me a project or uh, ask me for an interview. Let's look at the Twitter. So on my Twitter, I have published my badge. This is how it looks like. Obviously, you can customize your message, so on and so forth. So this is the power of badges. So now let's look at who is currently using the badges. So Senton Hall University is already using the badges. These are the different badges they are issuing to their students. There are many private companies such as Microsoft, NASA, Disney, Intel, all so on and so forth are, have started to leverage the power of badges. A little bit about Paradiso. We have been in business since 2007. We're based in Silicon Valley. We are expert in LMS software and content creation. We do serve both education and corporate sector. In terms of the education sector, some of our customers are University of New York, University of Illinois. We have American Sentinel University. In the private sector, we work with Allegiant Airline, SAP, Javelin, Tektronix, Blackboard Eats and the customers pretty much all over the world. So if you need more information about badges, a free demo, a free configuration on badges, or Moodle, Mahara, or Tatara, please email us at sales at paradisosolutions.com or go to our website, www.paradisosolutions.com or call us at one 800-513-5902. Thanks for listening.